Got a new parcel, need some scissors. Got some scissors, need some coffee. Got some coffee, okay, let's have a little look at this. This should be, hopefully, the uh, Panasonic 15mm f1.7. Which has a effective field of view, the same that you get with a 30, 30 millimeter field frame um, lens. And let's see this, how this goes. Just have a quick break for some chocolate soy milk. Mmm. In my coffee. That's that's how I like it. So this lens, new, is four hundred pounds. Three nine nine in the UK. Is that change my white balance? Hold on. Does that look better or does that look cold? Don't know. Who cares? Um, uh, but ooh, okay, let's let's see. Now this one is a lens which has been getting um, big, rev big positive reviews from other Panasonic users, um, and this is it, brand new. So let's slowly unbox the newness. Gently, gently does it. So at the top we have a little box with some stuff. So what's in the stuff? We have a lens pouch. Does anybody ever use these? I'd love it if there was an option where it'd say, hey, save the environment. Click this button to not have a lens pouch created and sent over because you never use these. Um, you know, and save two pounds. I'd be like, that's, that's cool with that. Cheaper packaging, lighting. And on the top, we're getting a very metal uh, lens hood, lens hood, with a funny little rubber cap. It's like a rubber plug, rubber plug going in there. Okay, then then we're going into the box. Let's go in the box. And this this is far better packaged than some of the previous uh, Panasonic. But it is still, it's just wrapped in a bag. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what's happening. The box itself, that's it, with some instruction manual. Ridiculous amounts of paperwork. This is all bureaucratic bullcrap. Again, if there's an option to say, hey, I'll download whatever rights that I need to uh, guarantee and Honestly, do I need this many pages of operating manual in every frickin' language there is? Pan-European guarantee, and what's this one? Limited worldwide warranties. Blah, fluff that just gets thrown away. And then I got... Guess which colour I got? I got the silver version, obviously. Let's see, and... It is another tiny lens. Let's see. Hold on. I'll um, compare it to. I've got a. I've got a. No. I've got a 15, a 20, and a 25. Let's let's line them up. Let's line them up. And back. Let's see. Can you see these? Can we focus close enough on these? So here is the 15 millimeter. Here is the 25 millimeter with the lens hood already attached. I'll put the lens hood at the side. And here's the 20 millimeter. So that's, that's in terms of focal range. They're all f1.8, but for some reason the 15 mil is a little bit bigger than the 20 mil. Uh, but it, what it does have, can we focus this close, is it's got an aperture. It's got an aperture ring that make, makes a little sound. Listen. Oh, that's good. It sounds like they're at quarter stops all the way around. Oh, that's quite pleasing. That's quite pleasing. Let's stick this on to a pretty camera. So here, let's go. I'm taking off the 12 to 30, 32 and sticking on the 15 millimeter fixed focal range. It's got an Let's see, an AF odd focus and manual focus. Oh, that's a nice clip. Click. Mm. Nice. Fairly large lens cap. Let's let, stick on the ridiculous lens hood. 
Ah, right. It can't stick on the lens <laughs> straight away. You've, you've got to take off this beauty ring. <laughs> mm, I've got a beauty ring. And there, there's your little lens hood. That looks pretty cool. Oh, no, that looks awesome. Oh, with the uh, Panasonic E, uh, what is this, GX80? No, GX8. And the 15 mil. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, ooh, the mounted focus feels nice. Fly by wire. Fly, is that the right phrase? Fly by wire? Wire? I can't, can't quite tell. Let's see, let's stick it into. Manual mode. Go F. 1.7. That looks ridiculous. Let's go to aperture mode and say it. F1.7. And it seems to be in manual... Oh yeah, because I've clicked into manual focus. What is its closest... Its closest focusing distance is 20 centimetres. I'll focus on the front. No, let's go. Manual focus. Closest focusing distance. Let's get. How close is that in real life? Wow, it's close. It's very close. And buttery smooth depth of field. Shall we see what the video is like? With depth. To see how depth. To see how depth of field it is. So there's 15 mil. Let's. Let's do a recording. Do we have? We do have autofocus. Uh, we don't have image stabilization. That's one thing you don't get. Uh, do you? no. There's no image stabilization in this lens, so that that's a bit of a bummer. Um, in terms of depth of field, focus on my eye. Focus on my eye. Ooh, nice close set. I need some. L look at the background. Look at the background because the background is obviously important. I shall focus on my face. Now that's a nice background. That's a nice. I don't even know if that is at f1.7. This is just in man uh, auto settings. Let's go manual. No, still don't go manual. Here I have it on the closest focusing distance. Wow, that's it getting super duper close. Okay, super close. Let's go. Can we manual focus our way out of this? There we go, manual focus. Oh, the manual focus is very nice. It has a very nice feel to it. But still, f1.7, buttery smooth background. If you're wanting to go somewhere where, like, I can't totally show the background, this this totally seems to work. So that seems pretty good. Yeah, I like f1.7 and manual focus thing. Can do that. Let's go into auto focus mode and let's hear the. Can we hear the audio of it? Okay, now, next challenge. Stop. Next week challenge, uh, let's see how fast its focus is. We'll put it into aperture mode at f1.7. Get it focused on something close by, like this 20 millimeter lens. Get it focused on a point on the actual screen. Focus, naturally focusing. Okay, taking a photo there, let's go. Take away. Boom! Everything's in focus. That's good. There, and then... That's good! Nice and blurry back. I need to make sure that the exposure is also the same as the... Uh, the, the metering mode should be in spot metering for some of this. Okay, let's go display. Show me. Display. Far away. Photo. Boom! Uh, it's too close. So if, we, if I go from here, let's see, I'll spot meter on it as well. Okay, so I'll focus there. Boom. And then I'll point it towards the window. Boom! Straight away, instant. Then I'll point it back here. Boom! Uh, is that in focus? It is in focus! Ah! Oh, happy days and all. All f1.5. Uh, so I'm now going to use this for the next few while. Take it to the zoo, do stuff with my kids, get some close up, blurry background stuff. F1.7. Check out the autofocus noise for video. Um, but in terms of straight out the box, does it feel like a three hundred pound lens? A four hundred pound lens even.
It is incredibly light. It does feel very well made. It does feel very well made. Nice. Nice clicks. Nice focus. Nice. Oh, that's quite tough though. Manual to autofocus button there. But, hmm. Nice feel. Nice feel. Liking that. Let's see how it does over the next week. One last thing is that if you are on my photography channel, you may not know that I've got two other channels. One is my exercise channel, which you can check out, which is Don Bauer Exercise. Uh, I think the actual name is just youtube.com forward slash Don Bauer. And I've also got another one on this channel. Uh, so this is, I've got Dom's Talks. And a lot of that is going to be about well, me dealing with my first ever newborn baby, uh, little Logan Bauer. Uh, born on the 4th of September, uh, and so I'm, I'm learning to be a dad. So it's all my mistakes and all the things which I'm learning which are quite useful. So if you want to see more about little Logan and how he's getting on, check out Dom's talks. And if you want to see, oh, I've also got Dom's flights as well. So uh, again, I'm doing a lot of stuff flying my DJI Phantom uh, around the places uh, and also going through the, the process of getting the, li the license to do it commercially. So if you want to see how I'm doing that, check out the Dom's Flights channel as well. I should put all the links to down below. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.